everyone, this is Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astronomerologist, and welcome to the Pisces Full Moon Astronomerology Forecast for September 6th, happening at 8.03 a.m. in London, 5, let's see, 3.03 a.m. Eastern Time in New York, and 12.03 a.m. just after midnight Pacific Time in L.A. Now, notice all the threes. Three is all about feeling, and this full moon is about feeling because it happens in Pisces, the final sign of the zodiac. This is when we merge with the divine, when our intuition is activated, our creativity is activated. It's very beautiful, it's very romantic. Pisces is all about unconditional love and merging with everyone, merging with our brothers and sisters, feeling the compassion, sharing our gifts without imposing any boundaries and judgment. So with this full moon, there are a lot of beautiful healing aspects that are coming together. First of all, it's happening on the 6th, and 6 is the number representing a birth, taking responsibility, nurturing. It looks like a pregnant woman carrying a child, and it literally is the parental number of unconditional love to your family, to your loved ones. Lavishing love, right? Feeling that gorgeous, creative sense of what can I do for you? How can I be of service? Pisces is a beautiful sign of service in a spiritual realm. And the sun is opposite Pisces in this full moon. The sun is in Virgo. The moon is in Pisces. The sun being in Virgo also activates the sixth house, which Virgo rules, which is about service, being of service, helping others. And then, of course, Pisces, where the moon is, is that beautiful, miraculous sign of creativity, of art, of imagination, psychic abilities, downloads. So with this whole code coming together, we have a really amazing um, opportunity to heal. Water is the element. Water is, is what um, Pisces is a water sign, and Neptune governs Pisces. Neptune is, you know, the ruler of the oceans. So we are really connecting with that watery energy that flows everywhere. Water is the only element that reaches everywhere. So it doesn't leave anything untouched. So we are merging with love, with compassion, with being able to activate romance in our life, and being able to honor both our boundaries and communicating with extra clarity as well because the shadow side of Pisces Neptune is that we might you know take on other people's emotions and not create that boundary so the Sun in Virgo opposite the moon in Pisces is allowing you to you know reminding you don't lose yourself in the sea make sure yes you connect but also that you are meticulous about your own boundaries as well be aware that things are not always as they seem when we have such a big watery Pisces Neptune influence. So um, a lot of secrets reveal themselves as the water reaches the depths and brings to the surface whatever has been, you know, underlying, hidden. The 12th sign of Pisces is the, is the final sign, so it brings up what is hidden right before we merge into a rebirth. So this is you know, something to be understood. So let it come up, let the water bring up everything that, that um, you haven't seen, allow it to emerge into the light of the full moon. So the moon is conjunct Neptune in this full moon. That means it's right next to Neptune, and Neptune is the ruler of Pisces. Neptune is currently in Pisces, has been for a few years, will still be for a few years, but the moon has now come up and is right next to Neptune, and so this activates the Pisces-Neptune axis even more. So feeling will bring healing. You must allow yourself to feel. Feel compassion, feel kindness, feel loving feel miracles, listen to music, you know, appreciate art. Everything that's beautiful and magical and miraculous is now coming into your life, uh, wanting to be acknowledged, wanting to transform you, you know, through what is not seen. Music and art and miracles are not 
scientific phenom phenomenons, they're spiritual phenomenons. So this is to really trust in your feelings and allow yourself to heal through that transform transformative aspect of Pisces and Neptune. Now the moon and the sun are opposite each other at 13 degrees, which is a number of transformation, life, death, rebirth. Now I have to say because September is also a one universal month, so it adds up to 19 in 2017 and 19 reduces to 10 and 1 and also the year we're in 2017 adds up to 10 and 1 so we're in a double one month of birth of starting fresh so you're going to feel your way through this month as you know everything is shifting everything is restarting you are rebirthing so things are not ever going to be the same remember we just came through the eclipses in august and you know, the second eclipse on the 21st of August, that solar eclipse in Leo, was a game changer eclipse. And now we have a month where the number one is activated in a double way. So we're continuing that new beginnings process where everything is fresh. You are not relying on the past, past cultural paradigms, you know, whatever it is that is in your mindset that has been told to you. Uh, since day one when you appeared on earth and you know parents and teachers and mentors and society and culture and religion has you know imbued you with certain belief systems they are not going to hold up anymore now and so this one one energy is allowing you to just be who you are naturally so when Pisces and Neptune and the moon and sun come together in this way, you know, it's basically you are becoming one with your origins. You are becoming clear that the distractions that, that, that can appear in your life are needing to be uh, seen for what they are, loved for who they are, not judged, and allowed to be, you know, uh, you know, freely expressing themselves just as you freely express yourself without the shackles of imposed paradigm so you know your belief systems are undergoing a major reframe right now uh, this is really really good news because in the end what you want is to rely on your connection to the divine to source to God that is your that is the only relationship that actually matters no matter what happens into your life you you know you can always rely on that connection to your guides, right? Invoking the angels, invoking the guides. They are there for you always and in all ways. So, you know, Mercury just moved direct as well. The day before this full moon, Mercury stationed direct. And Mercury was retrograde during the eclipse, this, the August 21st eclipse. This was such an important moment to go back and recalibrate and rethink. And now you're like, okay, I get it. There are many things I didn't quite see clearly. And now I need to reframe how I see the world and just live it moment by moment by moment as the spiritual healing of Pisces, Neptune, Sun and Moon come in and you know clear the way for me to just not bring the past into my decision-making process and just listen because all the wisdom is there. You know, the past will always already be part of your experience. You've ex you, you had that experience of the past. It's not like it's gone. You just don't want to intellectualize what needs to be felt, right? You don't want to use your mind to feel. You can't do that. It's not possible, but we tend to confuse the actual thinking through decision making with just allowing the miracles of insights and aha moments to happen in moments of silence. So this full moon in Pisces is telling you, okay, so let's just rest, wake up in the morning or fall asleep at night and then receive my intuitive insights or meditate and, and then receive my intuitive insights. So really, really listen to that. Do self-care as well. This is happening on the 6th. This is a number of self-care, of really making sure that you are being nurtured. It's not just you nurturing others, of course. It starts at home. You know, 6 governs the home. It governs your loved ones. And Is it beautiful where you are? Are you, 
Are you surrounding yourself with beautiful art and plants and flowers and music and incense, right? And, and, and photographs and sayings and, you know, are you visualizing something that is beautiful? What are you focusing on? This is what you want to really be looking at with, with also, also Virgo involved. The sun is in Virgo. This is your daily life. This is healing. This is health, okay? So the sun and moon are also in a very beautiful harmonious relationship to Pluto. The moon is sextile Pluto and the sun trying Pluto right during this full moon. So this gives you the courage to purge. And, you know, as I said, you know, you're, you're releasing the past and Pluto um, is the ruler of Scorpio. So again, a water sign. It's the, such a watery moment for us uh, to just feel and let go of those attachments that are preventing you from forgiveness, from healing, from just moving ahead, not holding grudges, right? This is a moment where you're you, you can't prevent yourself from feeling your connection. You, you must connect in order to understand that you are a divine soul having a human experience. So this is a, a call to action to go there. In whatever ways this has to happen in your life, you know, it is happening to you in order for you to grasp that is the actual ultimate truth, right? You are a light being. The full moon is lighting up that truth in Pisces, Neptune, right now. So spiritual healing is tremendously enhanced now. Six does govern healing. The sixth house in astrology governs health and healing. And of course, the sun is in Virgo, Virgo, the ruler of the sixth house. So what is happening? You are cleansing, you're washing away pain, water is coming into your life in order for you to swim in that ocean of love. So anything that floats up to the top, right, as the waters are coming into your, the, you know, the watery symbolic energy is coming into your life, let it go. Now for some, water is literally flooding their life. Uh, for our dear sisters and brothers in the Gulf Coast of Texas, Louisiana, and, you know, as the storm progresses, we are really, really empathizing with you because you have taken on the symbolic representation of what water can do in terms of washing away everything and starting fresh. So let our hearts be connected to everyone who is literally feeling this element. And so here's the thing, you want to really pay attention to what is coming up for you, not only as you're, you know, watching and and feeling and, comp and feeling compassion for what's happening in Texas, Louisiana, but what is happening for you? What are you noticing about that feeling? And so tune into this the, the part that is uh, truly beautiful. Now you have a wonderful opportunity during this full moon because Venus is at 13 degrees exactly in conjunct, which is a 150 degree aspect to the moon. The moon at 13 degrees in Pisces is 150 degrees from Venus at 13 degrees. So here we have an amazing opportunity to, you know, love. Venus is love. Venus is beauty and joy and abundance. So don't resist the love that's coming your way. Eliminate any conflicts in your relationship. If, if an in conjunct does anything, it allows you to work through tensions that already exist, right, and really address them and bring them into harmony because then the Venus, beauty, joy, uh, romance, abundance, love, um, you know, symbols will bless your life if you address those issues. One more transit to tell you about Mars is conjunct Mercury. Mercury just moved direct the day before and Mercury is exactly trine Uranus. This is happening in the fire signs at 28 degrees, right? This is super important because this is the exact degree that the solar eclipse in Leo happened at just a couple weeks ago. So Mercury has come around and is now activating that degree in Leo where the solar eclipse happens and is trining Uranus, which is also at 28 degrees in Aries, in the fire signs. So 
This is such a call to action to take your realizations that you have now and you know all the, the changes that you've experienced, uh, the pivot points that you experience, and move forward with that Mars energy of action. So allow your mind, Mercury Direct, to pierce through any resistance that you're having about moving forward because you have tremendous clarity now and you can literally activate your dreams. You know, Pisces rules dreams and miracles. So this combination of the solar eclipse, you know, point being activated by Mercury Direct is so symbolic and powerful. So to, to really wrap it up in a nutshell, you want to feel with that Pisces number six energy, the Neptune, the moon energy. You want to move forward with that focus and that those insights that you're having, those intuitive insights you're having, and start implementing, but in tandem with your intuition, right? You're not moving forward anymore just with past paradigms defining how you should conceive or understand a situation. You are literally bringing both right and left, feminine and masculine, uh, together as one, merging them as one, so that you can move forward with tremendous joy, peace of mind, and clarity. Now, I hope you have just a tremendous healing and feeling Pisces full moon. I am. Um, I can't emphasize enough how beautiful the cosmos has set up this movement from being, you know, introduced to this new human age that we entered with the eclipses in August and now allowing us to really feel our way into it and let go, let go, 12th sign of Pisces, you know, letting go and then rebirth ourselves, you know, in that one energy, September being a one month, uh, 2017 being a one year. This is really, you know, the, the script couldn't have been set up in a more beautiful powerful way. So really take advantage of it. And uh, I can't wait to see you in our new moon forecast in Virgo in a couple of weeks. Lots of love.